Tracking that Friday forecast, I'm First Alert 25 meteorologist Jordan Evans. Watch Future Track with me as we can see a couple clouds for us this morning. Brazos Valley, partly cloudy this afternoon. And then for Waco Temple Colleen, I think we're going to hold on to those clouds as we go throughout most of your day. You saw a couple drizzle spots, maybe a few sprinkles can't be ruled out as well. But most of us look to stay dry by tonight. We'll eventually keep those clouds in play as well. I know we don't see it here on Future Track, but definitely uh, do expect to keep those clouds tomorrow morning, which means temperatures are going to stay a little bit warm tonight as well. So here's your hour by hour 66 at 10 o'clock. Again, a 10% chance for maybe some drizzle this morning. Most of us are going to stay dry. Won't need that umbrella today. 74 degrees there by 2 o'clock and we'll get into the mid 70s around 4 eventually falling into the 60s around 8 o'clock as well. Here's your high temperatures. We've got 75 for Waco, 77 Temple, mid 80s across the Brazos Valley. Again, holding on to those clouds or partly cloudy skies throughout the day. For the rest of us, west of I-35 especially, I would expect a few more clouds throughout the afternoon. 64 for tonight, Waco Temple, Colleen, 66 Bryan College Station. So pretty much mid 60s, everyone's going to run about 15 degrees warmer than normal. Uh, for this time of the year in terms of morning temperatures across the state this afternoon. We're at 70 for Dallas, 83 in Houston and 83 in San Antonio. So you can kind of see that cold front that's starting to work through the Lone Star State where they're falling now into the 50s behind it. And then tomorrow we all kind of warm up just a little bit with a second front that will start to make its way in as we get into Sunday morning. That's going to drop our high temperatures a little bit then. So here's your 10 day forecast 82 Saturday. A few more showers for us possible. Then the cold front comes Sunday morning. So 69 degrees happens early on. Temperatures fall back into the 40s by Monday morning and then 70s. Those will start to increase throughout the week with maybe a few more rain chances by next weekend as well and lows there in the 50s.